This is Mati, and he is the deadliest player on the Legacy SMP. He killed me, and I want my revenge. And I get into a disaster with Minecraft's deadliest boss. Wow, I cannot believe he actually took a heart for me. I mean, that's that's actually insane how how he did that. He killed me. I was on 17 hearts. I was on 18 hearts, and now I'm on 17. So, but you know what? That's fine. We can grind it back. We just gotta get full netherite armor, and uh, then we can go kill him. Because I think he's on 12 hearts now, and I'm on 17, so I have an extra 5 hearts. And if we don't fight in the nether, then we'll still be fine. So, you know, we're gonna do that. And uh, let's go. Let's get um, armor. I think I want to just get, you know, some armor. I want to get some books for it first. And then we're going to go ancient debris mining and get us a bunch of ancient debris. And then just do things around around the um, our base to, do, to just fix it up and get ready for the end fight that is going to be soon. So let's go and uh, get to getting our armor back. All right, everybody, so I have been bed mining for a little bit. I found six ancient debris so far. It's not bad. I have three netherite ingots in total. So we're going to keep going. Let's uh, explode some more beds. We're using beds instead of TNT because TNT is pretty expensive. And obviously, we don't have a gunpowder farm. So that's we're just using beds. And uh, yeah, let's keep exploding these things. Okay, everybody, so from that ancient debris trip, we are about to get something that, again, I did not think I would get this early in the game, but we are going to come over here. Let's get, oh my gosh, that's a creeper. Um, okay. Don't need a creeper in here. Okay. <laughs> my gosh, that was scary. Okay. So let's come, let's get our smithing upgrade table. All right, everybody, we're going to do it. We are going to get full netherite armor today. Cover me in debris. Get a full suit of netherite armor. Let's go. And I have a netherite sword. Ooh, look at some gold blocks. Oh my gosh, 19 gold blocks. Um, we can use this to craft so many golden apples. So I have almost a stack of golden apples. I'm just going to keep six on me at all times. Wow, that's pretty good. And I got this bow. It has flame and punch too. Um... Let's put these away. Wow, I mean, that's actually really, really good. Um, I got almost a stack of iron block. And we found a beacon in somebody's chest. So as you know, uh, we took it. So, I mean, yeah, we're actually like really rich right now. Um, let's get some more cooked pork chops. Want to stay on top of that. Never want to um, go into a fight having no no pork chop or food or whatever so alrighty so that's really really good um i want to use the xp farm to put some more books i want to put mending on the sword because it does not have mending surprisingly but yeah and then i think i want to go breed some more villagers because i did make a whole nother breeding chamber last night and like i had i got a bunch more trades last night before i died so, yeah, and then I died, and then, yeah, it was a disaster. But, as you know, I have full netherite armor, full netherite sword, so we're doing pretty good here. Um, let's just continue trading this, because I need emeralds for some of the new books for, like, Fortune 3. Because I did get some new books here. I'll show you the books, the villagers, right now. Okay, so we have Fire Aspect 1 for 10 animals. I could not find Fire Aspect, so I just took it when I got it. It's it's pretty bad enchant, but we got Fortune 3 for 26. Kind of expensive, but, you know, whatever. Aqua Affinity, which I want to put on my helmet. It's actually very, very helpful. So, yeah, that's our village villagers. And then here, if we come up here, here's my Iron Farm, which is actually, like, actually OP. Like, I didn't know. It's, like, this insane. Like, so, yeah. Um, it, there is an iron farm, but we just collected the iron, so I think I want to come back and get some more beds so that I can breed the villagers. Okay, let's, uh, let's go to the XP farm here, and let's grind for some levels. Okay, so now, so we put all those books on our armor, right? And, uh, we are fully suited, but now look at what I found, ward armor trim. That only means one thing. We are in an ancient city, Minecraft's deadliest structure. So, let's get to looting this thing. It won't it won't take long. I am looting it with Mati, I'm trying to build up trust so that I can betray him. I'm going to betray him. Take everything from him. It is going to be 
a great, great day. So let's explore this awesome ancient city. Alright guys, if you enjoy this video, please subscribe because it, it means the world to me and it's the best thing you can do for my channel because I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of the year and I can only do it if you help. So, hope you enjoy the video. Bye bye. Okay, so that was pretty scary, but you know what? It's fine. It's fine. So we are going to go and we are going to continue looting this thing. And then I think I know the location of somebody's base because my brother met up with somebody, met up with P. Viver, his name is, and P. Viver showed him his base for some reason. So I am going to see if I can go and find their base and maybe we can. I don't really know, but let's let's see if we can. Okay guys, so I am so sorry, but the video did not record for some reason, but I found somebody's, I found a pillager outpost with a nether portal right next to it, okay? And then I went through the nether portal, there was like five portals there, so I went through all of them, and then I popped out in a raid farm. 
and in the pillager outpost, I ended up getting bad omens. So now we have totems. Now we have so many totems. And somebody was here. So we were chasing them. And hopefully, hopefully, they, they did get away. They did get away. We were chasing them in the water and whatnot. But we are going to get them. We are going to track them down and get them. So let's let's see if let's just see how many totems we can get from this awesome farm. It must be a stacking one. Okay, uh, gamer, why don't we? Um, yeah, I'm just in my. Oh my gosh! What the heck? He's there! He's there! He's there! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Oh, come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Die! 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 I need to eat! I need to eat! Oh my gosh! Wait! I don't! I don't! I don't know if I should go through this nether portal. It could be trapped. It could be trapped. I don't know. I'm just gonna go through. I got I, I got my gaps. I got my gaps. It's fine. I got totems. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Let's go. Let's go through. Oh my gosh. Bed bomb. Bed bomb. Yes! Yes, he blew himself up. Let's go! We got a kill, and we got an extra heart. Let's go! Oh my gosh. Yes. One of my first fresh kills on the server. Let's go! We got everything back from them. Let's go. They didn't even kill us either, but now we got infinite totems. Oh my gosh. Let's go, bro. Ho, ho, ho. Let's go. Alrighty, well, let's sort this loot, and then let's go use that raid farm some more. Let's get some more totems. Alrighty, so we are using the raid farm right now, and oh my gosh. Look at this thing. Oh my gosh, I have bad omen again, too. Oh my gosh. How? I don't even know, but this raid farm is so OP. I mean... Okay, here's a detailed explanation of what happened. So we go home from the ancient city, right? And I was trying to find their base. And on the way, I found a raid tower. I went through the nether portal. There was a bunch of tunnels. So I went through all of the nether portals. And then, boom, went through one. Here's a raid farm right here. And I'm like, oh my gosh. A raid farm, a raid farm, a raid farm. So, like, we found we, we found an awesome raid farm. Oh, don't want to fall. Oh, don't want to fall. Oh my gosh. So, I mean, now we found this raid farm. And then there was a pillager outpost. So, we got the bad omen effect. And oh my gosh. This is so good right now. Oh my gosh. Well, let's just continue grinding here and get infinite totems, I guess. Okay. So, my next goal is to find their base. There's the gamer. He's been traveling with me. Let's see. Ooh, found a little mine shaft here. Oh, what's, what's this? Oh, just a mind chef. Is there any cobwebs? I'll explore that in a minute. What is this, though? This does, oh my gosh, there's a hole there. What the heck? Does anybody know? Just us. What the heck? Oh my gosh, it's ladder. This is their base. Because there was a portal that I didn't explore. This must be their base. Oh my gosh, I must have found their base. No way. Oh my gosh. We found their base. Oh my gosh. Alrighty. Oh my gosh, we're on Braden 3, on Braden 3, Bane of Arthur Pots 5, what the heck, Mending and Curse of Binding, why, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, enchantment setup, okay, okay, You. they got villagers there, oh my gosh, they are actually kind of stacked, we need to find their chest, oh here's a uh, sugarcane farm, oh that's nice, oh my gosh, oh here's chests here, oh my gosh, look at all this loot, oh my gosh, alright, let's loot this place. Okay, so I ended up TPing back home because I did fully loot it. Didn't really get any good loot. They were kind of poor, to be honest. But I did get... So I did take a trade with them. And again, it glitched out. I'm so sorry for this. But it glitched out. But I... Like the recording did. But I, I traded their stuff back for access to their raid farm. And then you know what I did? I gave them a netherite upgrade template for nether work because we have been searching for like three hours, four hours actually, for a bunch of, of nether work from a nether fortress and we just couldn't find it. So that's what we did. I mean, we went and we just, and we tried to with them and I gave them their stuff back and then, yeah, it was really, really good. But, you know, I think now I want to hunt Mati. I'm going to get him back. I think I want to go explore an ancient city with him again. I want to go try and get one. And then I'm going to kill him.
I'm going to kill the person who took everything from me again. It's just so sad that, that, he would, that he would even do that. I thought he was my friend, but I'm going to go get him back, and uh, we'll... We'll, we'll see how it goes. Let's let's do this. Let's gear up. Yeah, and there was a raid at our base because like we brought Bad Omen home in an, on an accident, but we got we got we beat the raid. It's fine. So yeah. All right, everybody. So in the beginning of this episode, I said that I was gonna get my revenge on Mati, and now I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go searching for him, for him, and hopefully, just hopefully, I can win, and I can get my revenge. I can take all his stuff. And I can get my revenge. I've been searching for about for, for some time now, and I haven't found anything. But I think I'm gonna try to get him to TP here. Let's see if this works. Hello. What's good, Mati? Yo, what's up, man? So it's, uh, uh, you want to TP to me? Uh, like I got some totems if you want some. I got a lot. Well, like you know, I kind of didn't trust you since you know our last incidents. Well, I mean, but, we explored that oh, yeah. ancient city together, though. That's true. Like, dude, come on. Fine. I'll just give you a couple totems. Like, that's all. Like, dude, I'm not going to kill Fine. you. Fine. Okay. Fine. What's up? Hi, Mati. So, I'm Hi. So, Hi. Okay. Uh, here. Here's the, uh, totem. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. It was so nice. This was so expected. Yes! 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 Oh my gosh, I was getting so... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, I won. I was getting so... Oh my gosh, I was getting so scared. What, uh... What is P-Viver doing? Okay. Okay, I am running. I am running. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. P-Viver, you stay away. You stay away. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I finally did it. I finally won. Let's go. But... That is the end of this episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.